Oh, yes, we've got cutter A. Oh. And we probably said crayons. Who said crayons? Crayons. Crayons? crayons? crayons. crayons. But it doesn't crayons. matter because we would follow the sound saying the word when we were thinking oh. And there's a nice picture there as well. Oh, it's possible. Oh, nice. I didn't think that was for us. It's for all. Oh, what's the last one? Oh, it's possible. think of the sight words or magic words or whatever but they are coded SSP is the first program in the world that has coded sight words every single word is coded that means the speech sounds map with the sound picks oh show write it sh oh show and I want to hear you saying sh oh as you're writing it sh oh show ready Ka ah, ah, car. Write it. Ka ah, ah, car. And the important thing is you say the sounds as you're doing it. Brilliant. And if you've got time, underline the sound picks as well. If you've got time, underline the sound picks as well. Underline the sound picks. So sh <coughs> o k a. You have to do the You don't have to do the one or two if you don't. Just do the lines. So you can see he's not split it with the speech sounds. Um, and as the conductor, you can go around and see instantly because they're doing it on the whiteboards. It doesn't matter he can spell car or he's written car. What matters is that his brain needs to understand it's because it's k -ar, car, those links. They can then transfer that knowledge. If he's saying, I went to the park, he can use that knowledge of that R that he did in car because he's sh we're actually showing the brain those splits. So then when he comes to write park, he knows that other choice or he can think of that choice. That's also why we had the clouds up right from the beginning so they see all the choices. Because we're not looking at whole words, we're actually looking at those choices and we're investigating words all the time. It means that very early on, not only do children learn to read very quickly and to spell very quickly, but very early on, their brains can recognise what looks right. And that's exactly what you do if you've got to spell a word you're not sure of. You'll write it, what looks right, and you'll do that one. The earlier we can help the brain to see what looks right, the better. And this is one of the strategies. Train! Train! Write it! Train! That's right, just do it as slow as you write it. Train! Underline the sound picks. T er underline the sound picks. T er underline the sound picks. Are you ready? Right, so they're either going to do it really quiet. Are right, you ready? This at uh, this time we're just going to go through and put your pens down. So there's lots of different ways we're going to do this, and I'm showing because lots of people all over the country are doing this. Right, you ready? Look. So you're not going to write anything. You're just going to say them as quickly as you can, but you're going to follow the sound, say the words. Let's do this one. T er truck. I in flying, but a sub bus. The work at you to wait. I put up to you to. Well done. Then another one you might do is you might do it. Well, in fact, I want you to do it, but I want you to look at it with your duck 
can sew in. I can see that yes. chur with my duck can chur. Ooh, true. Let's do it like that. You ready? Oh, so. Right. You and you stand up and tell the camera. 
that's what we're doing for their brains. It's so we're following the sound, saying the word, and they know the word. But then we're really thinking the sounds, right? Last one.